Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about an interesting and most required feature and real time cases solution for this one. I have seen in many other community side people are using asking for this solution. So I thought to make a video of it. This is about month year filter. Usually we have this date picker in Power BI Desktop there we can select our any kind of date selection here and then we will get the result here. But now the business requirement is we just need to select the month here because I don't want to go and select every time that 1st of January or 1st of February because I just need to look into the whole month of data. So I just want to know the data about January to May here. So I just need to select the month name here. For an example if I want to select from January to June here for an example there I will get this answer here this is a value here and this is an old method how we usually do here I had to go to this date picker and then scroll down and then I had to select the date here the exact the date of that June then only I get the same value here so this is an interesting topic to discuss about that we'll discuss this in this video if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button to get this kind of interesting updates of your real world situation in Power BI and Power Platform. And also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So first of all, this is my regular, uh, this Adventure Works report, which I usually do in many of my videos here. And uh, I also made a project about how you need to do this complete project in this one. So if you haven't seen that, please go and check out that video as well, which contains almost everything about Power BI. That's a three hour video. You'll get clear, perfect picture about understanding of Power BI. So enough about that. So first of all, I have this dim date table. I need to go to Power Query now because there are a few things which we need to do in Power Query first and then in Power BI desktop. So now I have this dim date table, which consists from the database itself and it contains the date range, which I need here. If you don't have this one, then you can create a calendar from in Power Query. Also, you can create a calendar in desktop power bi desktop also using tax calculations i have made two videos also if you want you can just check out that video given the link on the description below so i am just considering that i have the calendar table in power query now and from here i just want to right click here and then reference table so reference table will create a reference here which is dim from month here and after that i have this source which is exactly the same as the dim date here and then I just filter the date because I know that values is not available since uh, 2005 to 2010. So I just want to filter it out year here. This is not a necessary step, but for me, for in this video, I just did that. And after that, I just removed everything from this one and just kept date key and full alternate key, which is if I go here, date key is here and full date alternate key here. And then I right click here and remove other columns. So if I do so, then I got only these two values here, right? And after that, I just added a custom column, which is my favorite. You can add here, add column and then columns from example. If I do so, what I have done here is I just added a custom column using this small formula, which concerns about actually you can easily do that. No need to write this kind of complex thing. If you are using this add column from example, you just need to select this column and then click on column from example and then you can type whatever you need it will come up here i have made a video about that add column from example because i just want to cut short this video so you can just refer that video if you are not aware of that and uh, and then i need to add one more column which just consists the same process add column from example and i just added here like year and the month year four digit of year and two digits of month number so this is actually for the user to select and this is for our behind the calculation and also for the relationship because relationship it is must and preferred way to have a numeric column. So now remove other columns. I just don't need the other things here, which is the date key and the full date alternate key. I just need only these two here. And also I am just changing the type of this column, which is to be numeric. And finally I am removing the duplicates here. So right now throughout the year, which is I think from 2010 January, um, till I think September 2014 or December 2014, I have the 60 rows now. So after that, I just did right click here and the same thing, 
I just use a reference table added here and finally I just rename the column here month from and month from number and here month to and month to number. So now you might wonder about you have not done anything else for the to calendar date. What is the use of it? There is a trick here. So now we have three tables which is a dim date and dim from month and dim to month. So this is enough about Power Query. Now let's go back to Power BI Desktop. So you need to watch this video completely from beginning to end. Then well you can able to clearly understand about these things because there's a lot of thing involved inside to that. And after that, I need to create a calendar. I mean a DAX table, which is modeling and new table. I did that and I have given a name here as date cross join. This is an interesting one. So basically, I hope you can see this now. So I just added, let's go one by one. I just added the cross join and then dim from month and dim to month. Right. If I go back to this one, date table. And if I click here for the dim from month, I can just see these two columns, right? And also dim, where is that from month here? This also the same. So if I just take an example of this one, which is date cross join here, it actually what it does is it just cross join means what? It just gives uh, the value from the both the columns and in both the values. Let me just bring up that. So this is about cross join as per the documentation returns a table that contains the Cartesian product of all rows from all tables in the arguments. The column in the new table are all the columns in the argument tables. So it means if you just look at the example here, we have a table here like two columns, which is red, green, blue and horizontal stripe, vertical stripe and cross hatch. And also one more table, which is serif and sans serif embossed and engraved. So if we do cross join between these two tables, what we get is about, we'll get all the rows from these two tables and all the values. First of all, we'll get this from, if you look at in the left side alone, the red, green, blue, and it is for the sheriff and again, red, green, blue and sans serif. It means it gives us value for this three for this one. And again, for this three for this one, right? So it returns all the values here. Like the same way, if I do so, then it gives me the information about both the tables and with both the columns here. So it means I get about 60 rows. I have it here. Um, if I look at here, dim from month, I have it here almost 60 rows now and 60 into 60, 3600 rows I will get from here. Now again, I'm just adding one more table here, which is, uh, sorry to confuse. Now here I'm adding one more table because you can add multiple tables here and table one, table two. And right now I'm just adding table three here, which is a summarized dim date table and dim date year month number. So year month number basically will give the same year month number here. So this is all about the cross join, right? So I will get all the values between this table, this table and this table. So after that, here is a trick which I need to do here. So I'm going to apply a filter here, which is the main purpose here. I'm going to add a filter and in filter, I need to pass a table. The table is actually the cross join table. And after that, I'm adding a expression here, which is the dim date table month year number should be greater than or equal to the month from number of this table. And also this same from dim date year month number to be less than or equal to from month to number. So by doing that, what will happen is if I click here and select for an example, uh, here any values like April 2011 and click OK, then this gives me all the data here. And in the month to here, if I select any value here, like instead of April, I am going to select it to be July 2011. So it consists of three months, right? So here, this gives me the value of 2011-4, 2011-5, 2011-6 and 2011-7. So this is the main purpose of adding a filter here, right? If you don't do the filtration here, then this will return all the values in the dim date table. It means you will not get the result as expected. So this is the main part. You need to consider that. And now the next thing is you need to add it into the slicer, right? And before to that, you need to create a relationship. 
which is we have this now go to modeling and manage relationship and the dim date should be linked with the date cross join so here dim date month year number let me edit this one in the dim date i have this option month year number and is cross joined to be month year number of both the table and actually this has to be filtered the cardinality to be did cross join has to filter the dim date table right now even though for all our modeling and calculation purpose dim date is the main thing but as per the business requirement change we are adding an additional table and we are keeping this date cross join as an additional table and by doing this process actually we don't need to do any kind of changes in our existing measure that's a great part here so now i'm adding a slicer here which is coming from month from and here also the trick here you just wait patiently and then watch this video which is coming from from month from the date cross join table and this is coming from month to from the same table and the main thing you need to do here format tab and then go to edit interaction and this is slicer should not have any impact with this slicer and this slicer should not have any impact with this one it means you need to turn off this interaction of these two slicers that's the main thing you have to consider right by doing that i will get the value of the ELS date is the january 1st and here the last date is 30 june and i will get the same result here even though these both of them which is coming from the sales amount measure and this also is coming from the same sales amount measure there is no change in the measure it's just the way how we press it's, it's just the way how we are making the selection so this is all about how you can use the logic in order to use the month year filter in power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video